Welcome to Addicted to Real Estate TV. On today's episode, we're going to discuss you want to rent from me? I'm going to share with you my system for dealing with rental applicants. So stick around and let's have some fun. To say you got to know somebody or know somebody to give somewhere these days. To say you know that's all right, yeah, that's all right. Cause you know that's all right. Welcome back. Before we get started, I want to mention today's episode is sponsored by Executech Suites, a 47-unit full-service office building in Huntington Valley that office prices start at $495 a month. Can you believe that? Give them a call or check them out at the website below. All right, so today what I wanted to talk about is you want to rent from me? I'm going to share with you my system for renting to new tenants, okay? You've probably heard about the systems that are out there that people sell uh, that teach you how to properly screen a tenant, okay? Oh, it, 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 it's an amazing list of things that these people do. They, they check their credit. They find out if they've ever had an eviction filed against them. They find out if they've ever declared bankruptcy. They take blood samples and, and make sure that they don't have any serious diseases. They go to their house by some... Uh, they come up with some excuse of why they want to visit them at their home so they can see what kind of home they keep. And if they have a dog, they want to weigh the dog. They want to interview the dog. They want to look in the backyard and take feces samples of the dog. And uh, to make a long story short, I can't handle that, okay? I've got over 100 rentals, all right? And I got one thing I want to do. I want to close the deal, okay? So how am I going to do that? I came up with a system that works terrific for me. Here it is. A guy comes to my property, he wants to rent it, okay? If he's got a heartbeat, he's already passed the first stage of qualification. He's good. I have a simple application that I give him that asks one page of some very basic questions. And I'm a kid from Philadelphia, so I like to think that I got some street smarts. And I'm a poker player, so I like to think that I know how to read people. So I very quickly have to process, is this a guy I want to rent to or not? Once he hands me the application, I take a look at it, I ask him as many questions as I want, and if I feel good about him, it's time to do some business, okay? I want to close this deal right now, meaning I'm going to get the money, I'm going to sign the lease, I'm going to give him the keys, and I'm out of here. So how am I going to do that? Simple. I immediately explain to the guy uh, that I have three things that I need if you want to rent from me. I need your driver's license to prove you are who you say you are. I need your pay stub to document the income you just put on your pay on your application and I need cash. What kind of cash? I need three months rent, okay? The first month's rent, the last month's rent, and one month's security for whatever the price of the apartment is, okay? It's really simple. If it's a $6.95 a month apartment, the guy's got to give me $2,085 in cash. That's one thing I don't bend on. I need the money in my hand, okay? Now, what usually happens when you're talking to a guy like this is he thinks, well, he's probably been to other landlords who do all those crazy searches. So he's expecting that uh, you're going to do some of that. So uh, you'll see a, a look of bewilderment on the guy's face. I'm going to say, so what do you think? Do you like the place? Are you ready to move on? Because I feel good about you. Do you feel good about me? And if the, uh, he, he may be giving you this look of bewilderment, like, well, uh, what are we going to do next? You're going to run some credit report or something? I said, you know, McFly, McFly, you're not listening. Okay, all you need is three things. A driver's license to prove you are who you say you are. You need a pay stub to document your income, and you need cash. Okay? Now, I bet you got your driver's license in your wallet and your pay stub is in your glove box of your car. So you're only missing one thing. You need the cash. So it's 11 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Banks are open till noon. Run, Forrest, run. Go get the money. And let's close this deal. You, you'll have a fun time doing this because people just, uh, they, they give me the craziest looks. And I go, dude, I'm serious. Go to the bank. Get the money. By the time you come back, the application is going to be filled out. Here's the key. He goes to the bank. He comes back in 15 minutes. I already took my rent sign off the lawn. I took my lockbox off the doorknob. I am ready to hightail it out of there. And immediately he's going to say, but I don't want to move in until the 15th, and today's only the 7th. I said, fine. I'm going to give you the keys now. I need to get out of there. I don't want to have to go back to this property. Deal closed. Now, if this guy never pays me another dime in rent, 
okay? I'm going to know that the minute the rent's due four weeks from the day I did this deal. And if he uh, shows signs of not paying me early on, I can file for eviction immediately, and I don't get hurt that bad. Now, I know this system sounds crazy to you, okay? I don't care if you're a new investor or an experienced investor. So I'll admit, people don't do business this way, but I do, and it's worked really good for me. Now, a lot of times I find a guy who's got questionable credit. And the people who really thoroughly check people out are going to reject this man. But I accept them because of my loosey-goosey system. And guess what happens? He usually ends up staying with me for a long time. Why? He doesn't have any other options. He's got nowhere else he can go. Okay? Phil Falcone is his only friend in the real estate business. And this guy might end up living with me for a long time. Now, uh, do I have more evictions than the standard landlord? Eh, I'm not so sure about that. I don't care what kind of system you use for uh, investigating prospective tenants, you're going to have evictions one way or the other. I've had quality people I have had to evict. I've had people that I brought into the system using this kind of strategy that I've had to evict. I've had several of them who were with me for five years and were terrific tenants. And then all of a sudden, when they have financial problems, guess what? Their problems become your problems. So I don't really care what method you use. The key is get it done quick, close the deals, and move forward. One thing for sure about this system, you're going to rent your places faster than anybody else. You're not going to waste any time or money investigating the hell out of this guy. What you're going to do is meet him, feel good about him, close the deal, and get the money. That's the Phil Falcone system. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Addicted to Real Estate TV. If you enjoyed it, please go to my website, which is right there, Addicted to Real Estate com. Give me your name and email address so I can send you this show for free. There's also a free investor forms there for you, and you can check out my book, Addicted to Real Estate: Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. Thanks for watching. I'm Phil Falcone.